Tonight, a criminal investigation is underway and a New Brunswick family is devastated as new details emerge about how an African rock python killed two young brothers, according to police. How did the massive snake get into the room with the sleeping young boys? We have several reports tonight, beginning with the CBC's Harry Forrestal in Fredericton. Harry. Evan, this is a story so bizarre, so horrifying, many are still trying to make sense of what happened. Noah and Connor Bath were just four and six, two fun-loving brothers on a sleepover that took a nightmarish turn. The boys were visiting a friend in this apartment over an exotic pet shop. Sometime during the night, a terrifying sequence of events. What happened is the snake went into a van, a small van, which was located just above the, uh, the reptile cage, went into the ventilation system, crawled inside, and moved on towards the living room where the two boys were sleeping. Police believe an African rock python like this one, more than four meters long and weighing 45 kilograms, crept through a ceiling cavity to the room where the children slept. The pipe or the ventilation system uh, break down and the, the snake uh, fell into the living room when the two boys were sleeping. Police wouldn't describe the condition of the bodies pending an autopsy. The owner of the apartment and the reptile zoo is also the father who is hosting the Bath boys on their sleepover. Jean-Claude Savoie's own child was in another room unharmed. I turned the lights on and I seen this horrific scene and the snake was gone but I, I found the snake. It was in a hole underneath the another spot there and I pinned him down and I put him in a cage. A grief-stricken uncle, Dave Rose, described and, uh, the children's last the day. Trip. The two families, Jean-Claude's family, went to Jean-Claude's family's farm. Uh, there they played with llamas and goats and horses. Uh, they played with dogs and cats in the hayloft. They went for a ride on the farm tractor with Jean-Claude and he even let them steer the tractor. So it was a super day. And then after a long day, late into night, they got home and home for the sleepover at Jean-Claude's house. And the two families stayed together uh, until midnight. And uh, that's the type of life they have, and that's what we're going to try to remember. Residents of Campbellton are stunned by the deaths, many wondering how the snake could have been in their community in the first place. I thought it was horrible. You can't keep uh, animals like that in a house. They shouldn't allow that, animals like that. Police say they're waiting for the results of today's autopsy on the boys. The snake itself has been destroyed. Now the focus is on the Provincial Department of Natural Resources. It says the rock python is banned in this province, but officials aren't saying whether a special permit might have been issued for the animal in question. Evan? All right, thanks for that, Harry.